So I just finished prepping for my spray tan tonight. I am so excited to get a spray tan. I have self tans before. I usually do that in the summer just to give myself an extra little bit of glow because if you know me, you know I don't tan. And if I do tan, it's because I literally burned my skin off. So we're gonna get a spray tan. I basically for prep, because I didn't show it, but if you guys want to see like a whole like pre spray tan regimen, definitely leave a comment and I will do one, but I'll just kind of like talk you guys through what I did. So you wanna shower like a good bit before your spray tan because you want your skin to kind of not be like wet or warm or I don't know what I'm saying. So um, prep wise, what I did is I got in the shower this morning um, and I shaved and I exfoliated. So you want to exfoliate. I got gloves from TJ Maxx um, and then I got this coconut scrub and I just completely exfoliated my entire body. I focused on my elbows, my wrists, my kneecaps, and my ankles, which are usually the places that um, have more dead skin. So when you're getting a spray tan applied, or even when you're applying it yourself, if your skin isn't smooth, if it's not new skin, um, you can it can come off very blotchy or um, spotty because there's dead skin particles or like dead skin areas. Um, that will hold on to the tan better or worse than others. So you want to exfoliate to kind of get, give yourself a very smooth surface to work with. I also shaved. I shaved um, my legs and I did like all the way up. I wanted all the hair gone because the smoother the surface, the better application for, um, for a spray tan. Also, um, a couple of other things that you're not supposed to do before a spray tan. You're not supposed to wear any makeup, so hence why I look a little rough. <laughs> um, I'm not wearing any makeup. Also, in the email it says not to wear any deodorant, so I keep my makeup. Um, I am all fresh, no makeup based, and no lotioned body, no deodorant, nothing, so we're completely like all natural so I'm gonna take you guys with me to get the spray tan obviously um, I'm gonna do a little time-lapse of me getting the spray tan and then I will follow up with you guys afterward to just kind of tell you what she told me what to do what not to do so yeah excited Good morning. Oh, I just woke up. And wow, your girl is dark. Let me show you guys what my legs look like. It's kind of wild. You guys, look at how dark my legs are. Oh, I'm obsessed with this tan. It just looks so good. I'm just so obsessed with this tan it just looks so so good i love so now that i've slept in the tan i can now take a body shower and so kelly recommended that i get into like cool water not like a hot shower but get in um just set the water to cool and kind of just rinse my body off rather than like wash it and then if there are any places where um there's like a lot of product just kind of like gently rub rub it out um i'm so happy with how the tan you know i mean i look i like how dark i like how dark the tan is right now but definitely like not for winter. 
just because I don't know I'm just like so pale but um I just like love the way that this tan came out so excited so I'm gonna hop in the shower rinse off and then I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm all rinsed off I just look so tan in this robe oh my gosh so crazy the thing I love most about this spray tan is that first of all I don't have it all over my hands um, it's so much easier to just have someone else do it than me because I just don't like doing it myself and now I probably never will get it done by myself because wow I love it just got out of the shower just rinsed off the bronzer I probably still have a little bit of bronzer on just because I feel like I look very still very dark um, but that'll just go away with time so the next step that I'm gonna do this morning is moisturize so the key to having a long-lasting tan is moisturizing so I'm using hemp oil body lotion by the brand deep steep premium beauty and this is in the scent vanilla coconut so I'm just gonna moisturize my body um, so yeah <laughs> Watch me grow taller Yeah, Rabbit's watch is in his pocket Yeah, he stays late But he leads me so I follow So I realized when I was editing this video that I didn't really conclude um, I've had the tan on for 24 hours now as you guys saw in previous clips, I showed you guys uh, what I looked like when I was woke up this morning and then what the tan looked like when I got out of the shower after I rinsed off the bronzer. And um, I've had it on all day now. It hasn't rubbed off on any of my clothes or I'm literally wearing white sneakers right now. My ankles and like the spray tan on my ankles didn't rub off onto the sneaker which I know a lot of people were asking me about if it like rubbed off and for that question I actually slept in my white new robe and I didn't get one piece like not even a little bit of speckle of spray tan on it so it was very um it didn't rub off on anything I did when I got in the shower it did rinse off but that um, is actually very normal because it's rinsing off the bronzer. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I actually really like it. When I rinsed off this morning, my hands were just a little bit, like they had little speckles on them. Um, and they're still kind of on there, but they more look so like freckles. Um, and that's gonna go away because my hands and my face are what typically gets wet more so than my body because I'm washing my hands, I'm washing my face, stuff like that. So that'll definitely blend. And then I did have just a little bit of buildup on my wrist, which you can't even see on camera. Um, just like right here. And I mean, even that was like nothing. Like you can like barely see it. So with time and with wear, um, those very, very small, minuscule things will go away. All in all, I really like my tan. Um, one question I got was like maintaining my tan and how that works. Um, and I talked to Kelly about it and she just told me that you just moisturize one to three times a day and that will increase longevity of your tan of course like try not to shave all the time or exfoliate um which you don't always need to do every single day unless you're like an avid shaver which some of us are but um like for me i can go a few days without doing that so um i'm not really that worried 
and um, yeah, I'm so pleased and I will most definitely be doing this again because I love how quick and easy it was and I love the result. So effortless, so just flawless and natural and I loved it. I also love um, not self planning because I hate the process, I hate the waiting. I always mess it up and spray tans give that sense of um, like you're not responsible. <laughs> I guess this is the best way to say it. Like, like for me, Kelly was able to just spray me down and that was that. Um, and hopefully from the footage that you saw from the actual um, session, you'll be able to see what it's kind of like. I know a lot of people actually do it um, without any clothes on and that's obviously, if we're not wanting any tan lines, that's obviously a very good um, option to do. Um, for me, obviously, for the purposes of this video, I did not opt for that, but um, that is also an option. So if you're in the area and are looking for a great spray tan service, I highly recommend Spray Tan by Kelly. I will um, put her at on the screen and I'll also link her Instagram in the description box. I loved the service. I loved her studio and I just highly, highly recommend her. So if you are scared or you want to get a spray tan, this is your sign. Just do it. Just, just do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.